Today we're going to talk about DaVinci Resolve 17.2.1, the latest version. And there are a couple issues with your fusion effects that you may have made yourself that could have disappeared. I'll show you why that happened and how to fix it. Let's get started. Welcome back. My name is Dave and this is Fuzzy Tutorials. So I do tech tutorials for Windows and Mac OS, graphics and DaVinci Resolve, and even for other Apple products. All right, so let's get going here. So what you see here is uh, where I've got my uh, my old settings files. So before you would have had your custom effects pop it into this directory structure. So this is actually users and then your username and then app data, which by the way, to view that, if you're trying to go to it manually, you have to have hidden items turned on. And so once you're in app data, then you've you go to Roaming, Blackmagic Design, DaVinci Resolve, Fusion, Templates, Edit, and Titles. And your file should still be there even after the upgrade. And you may also have some files in the macros folder and these would have been accessible from within Fusion when you hit your control spacebar. If you were in Mac OS, that, that would be your shift spacebar. And um, you, what you want to do is go find all of these files and you need to package them up. So what they've done is they've completely changed where these go. And ultimately it is a better way of doing things now. So it allows you to just set up a package where you can put everything in. You can even create thumbnails that will show up in the new DaVinci beside your settings so they can kind of see what it's going to look like. And it allows you to uh, make something that they can just drag into Fusion and install them all at once instead of having to give them all these instructions on where to find the directory structure and where to copy them and that kind of thing. So it is a better way of doing it, but unfortunately um, when they did the, the latest update, uh, it, it broke the ones that you had in there. They're no longer available. And now the, the first 17.2.0 update, they were still available. And I was still making videos with them and dragging dragging stuff in use, that used my uh, my custom settings files. But as of the 17.2.1, they disappeared. And it was actually pretty confusing for me because I didn't know about the change. It didn't seem to be documented in the release notes that I saw. And they didn't make any type of a script to move your stuff automatically and package it up for you. So I was tearing my hair out trying to figure out why all of a sudden stuff that I had in my power bins I could no longer pull into projects. If I double clicked it I could play it in the in the window in the left hand window but I couldn't drag it onto the timeline it would just give me a red circle with a line through it when I tried to get it on the timeline. So I had to do a little research and this is what I discovered. So once you've uh, gathered up your files, there is a directory structure that you need to put them in. So the first thing you do is, and you can do this anywhere. You can do it out on your desktop. Uh, you can do it within another folder. I just put it in my documents. As you can see, I've got documents, Blackmagic Design, 
So we go into the default structure for Fusion packages, which I just made that myself. And then you need to have the edit folder and the Fusion folder. Uh, these are files that you're going to create and you can name them whatever you want as long as they have the correct extension, but I'll get to that in a second. So if you've got uh, full-blown Fusion effects, they would go in here. But if for just your normal effects, uh, you want to divide these files up and you can use your normal macros for this as well and then you've uh, so you got to separate them into the right areas so I've got my titles here and then I just kind of I don't have any generators or transitions that I've created that I need to worry about so it's just divided between these two and then we go back out Okay, so we're going to, now that we've got our zip file open, now some of you might be able to just right click on that folder and add it to a zip file. Uh, it used to work here for me, but uh, for some reason it's not. Uh, so we're just gonna click on add. And then I can take this folder and drag it in. And once you've got your settings the way you like it, and we'll just go ahead and we'll create the zip and then we're just going to open it up and double check to make sure that everything's there where it should be and it looks like it is okay so once you've confirmed that then just make a copy of it And then we'll paste that and then we just rename it and like I said you can name it anything you want so we're gonna keep it with the same the same name but we're gonna change the extension here to DRF it's gonna ask you to confirm you're gonna go yes and now that is a DaVinci Resolve Fusion package so we'll just open up DaVinci Resolve and then we'll go right into Fusion and then we'll bring our our window back up here and then we'll just take this file and we'll drag it into Fusion and then it'll It'll ask us here if we want to install it. Now I'm not going to install it because I've already gone through this and put them all in there. So I'm just going to hit cancel, but then I'll show you where to find them. And just so you know, they haven't changed that little issue where you have to exit DaVinci and fire it back up. But then to find them, you're going to go into templates and Fusion, and that's going to be where you're, if you've got any stuff that you put in that Fusion folder, and that would have been done as a different package, but in our case we're doing Edit. So if we go into here, we can go into Effects, and you'll see here's some of the effects that I put in. And now if you make a, uh, a PNG file, and you give it the exact same name, as the actual effect and then you add dot wide in between that and the dot png then it will automatically put it in here as a little thumbnail and you can do another one which is dot wide the at symbol 2x dot and then png and then that will give you uh, uh and and you normally want to make that one twice as big and I don't know what the actual sizes of them are supposed to be. I haven't taken the trouble to create them. And then if we look, go into titles, and here's all my custom titles that I've built. And just remember, you've got to 
quit DaVinci and go back into it. Now, um, I still have to do a little research and, and find out how to get my macros uh, to show up in here when I hit the uh, control space bar. But that will be in another tutorial once I get that figured out. If you're looking for more resources, you can check out my website at www.fuzzyd.ca. I'll put a link down in the description. And I've got more resources and downloadables there. And I will be packaging up my, my custom effects and titles and making those available, but I just haven't had the time to do that yet. So that should be up in the next couple of days. So thanks for hanging out with me today. Hope you enjoyed your time here. We'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. Yeah.